In a perfect world, we'd all be able to move comfortably and safely. We don't live in a perfect world. In a perfect world, we'd also have a toilet that looked kind of like this, easily accessible, and if we happened to fall, we wouldn't get wedged between the wall and the toilet. This is the real world. Bathrooms that look like this that have minimum amounts of space between the toilet and the wall. The one on the right, just imagine if that had been turned only at a little bit of a diagonal, it'd have a lot more room around the sides. It's amazing how many times people actually fall between the wall and the toilet and have to be extricated by their loved one or by an emergency services person. Take a look at this floor plan. I looked up modern floor plans on the internet. Three quarters of them have the toilet mashed up against the wall. You can see with the blue line how tight that toilet is to the wall. The green would be if we just turn the toilet on a diagonal, and it can actually be done sometimes because, as you can see by the circle right there, that's where the waste pipe goes down. Or even moving the thing over, as the red lines indicate, just move it over a half a foot. Look how much more room there is. We talked about this in our uh, Parkinson's support group, and we decided that having a washable Stool, one of the shower stools would be a real good thing to put between the wall and the toilet so if somebody happens to fall the other person isn't really going to have to dig them out from behind that tight space and it's good and washable. There's some that are like these and here's one that folds down that's wooden but it's attached to the wall and a person could have it so that they could fold it back up instead of removing it to wash around the toilet. You could put in a little roll around thing too and then it could be sort of useful. Again, you'd want to have it so that it's washable and that way when you just pull it out you can put it in the shower, give it a quick rinse now and then. But it would be a good place like this one that's on the right to store extra towels and the like. Here's some handrails. Handrails need to make sure that they are put into the wall where there's a stud. If you can't do this yourself, you may have to ask a local service organization like maybe the Lions or the Kiwanis or call your disability services area. See if they have any suggestions on who could help you put these in at little or no cost. I like the one too that's over on the right hand side. That actually attaches floor to ceiling and it can be used at a, for a toilet, it can be used next to a bed. It's not portable once it's attached, but I kind of like that pole idea. Another toilet trap that we have, the second in our toilet traps, is that the hips fall below the knees when you're sitting on the toilet an awful lot of times. Obviously, there's a lot of things out there that you can put around your toilet so that you can put your hands on it and you can hoist your petard off of the toilet. Take a look down at the bottom of these different ones and see which one you would want to have to clean around, which one would be the easiest for you to move and to lift off from around the toilet. Also available are those risers that you can put on the toilet. That way you may or may not need to put in a, a handrail or you may not need to have those oh, things that go all the way around the toilet with the two handles on each side. And You can see that this one that's uh, pictured actually is usable in an upright position for men as well. If you happen to fall, everybody knows that there's an awful lot of emergency things that you can have um, that you have to pay for, of course, on a monthly basis, but they hang around your neck and they go on your wrist. So if you happen to fall and we haven't avoided it, there you have those. Now, if you have somebody in your home for you, as a rule, maybe you don't want to be wearing that around your neck all the time. But let's say that you just attached a whistle with a lanyard on the wall where if you fell you'd be able to grab it. There's also whistles available that go around your wrist. 
and I found a lanyard that actually carries a cell phone or a small portable phone. You'd have to remember to recharge it. But how are we going to put these up on the wall so that you'll still be able to get them even though they're hanging down where you need them? Well, I found a lot of different accessories, the one on the left and the one on the right, standard push pins, and if there's push pins, you're going to be able to pull those out of something like a, a solid wall or a wallboard wall. Then, of course, there's something that might stick on tile, which is the second one there, one of those little gooey things, and the metal type that would stick on something metal. You'd be able to pull those things down off the wall without really damaging the wall much. But if you fall, there's also gate belts available, and what would happen here is that the person who is trying to help you out could put the gate belt on themselves, and then you could grab the handle as they push against the toilet and the back wall to help get you up. The one on the right is a very small gate belt that they could put around your shoulders or under your armpits, get it locked, and then you could go ahead and pull on that, kind of put a handle on the person who's down. Believe it or not, this is what our local fire department often uses. They use a rolled towel or a rolled bed sheet. They put it around underneath the arms of the person who's down and put their feet against their feet and begin to pull on them that way to bring them up to a, a rising uh, position. But you might just be able to extricate the person by pulling them straight out. These go without saying, and I thought, it's not really a toilet trap, but you might want to see what's available for, shall we say, toilet use for people who have limited mobility. There is a choice of three and only three that I found on the market. So we may not have a perfect world, but we can do the best that we can do so that we can avoid the toilet trap. Maybe you too can have an approved toilet.